And I apologize for not getting all of the rules on the table earlier. We're going to have to addend this before we start Chapter 4. I'll be happy, uh, happy to note that we're skipping Chapter 3. So, starting on Chapter 4, we're first going to get the Sentential Truth Tree Rules. So, here are the Sentential Truth Tree Rules. The negation, the negated negation decomposition is easy. It's like this. If you have tilde p, tilde p, you can just say uh, negation, negation, decomposition, p. That's the rule. That's the negated negation decomposition. That one's silly. Now we're going to do the conjunction, conjunction decomposition. and the negated conjunction decomposition. So if it's a negated, not just one of the terms inside of it is negated, but if the conjunction itself is negated, uh, then it turns into not P and Q, turns into either not P or not Q. And that is, again, the negated conjunction. Oh, now this over here. So, this is our conjunction P and Q, and we can do this rule. Uh, conjunction decomposition, and we would just name the line we got it from, P or Q. We can get either one of those out of there. That's conjunction decomposition. And then we have its alternate rule, the negated conjunction decomposition where it says not P and Q and this negation goes over the whole sentence. It's not just a negation of P or Q, it's a negation of the sentence. So when the entire conjunction is negated, you can say if it's P and Q negated, then either not P occurs or not Q occurs and you would just say negated conjunction decomposition. It may or may not make total sense, but you're just getting the rules down, so we're not too concerned. Uh, and we'll go down to the next row. Disjunction decomposition is easy. Okay, do a line there. You have P or Q. And you draw two lines out, and you put P there, and put Q there. And that's a disjunction decomposition. And the negated disjunction decomposition. So everything in the truth tree rules I guess you're seeing is that it's a, a set or a negated set. So the negated disjunction P or Q, not P or Q, turns into not P or not Q, whichever you want to get out of it. And you could get both out if you want. Uh, and you have to get both out to finish the tree off ultimately. So, um, that is our disjunction, our negated disjunction, decomposition, to decompose it, to take it apart. Those are the first two rules. We have, uh, or the first four rules, we have four more rules. So I'll fill the board up once more. Okay, next we're doing the, the conditional or the horseshoe, and we do the, the decomposition and then the negated decomposition. So this is the conditional that's what I was in there. Conditional decomposition rule. And in this rule we see P or Q. If P then Q, I'm sorry. As our assumption and we see either not P come out of it or Q. Those are two possibilities, right? And then we, over here to the side we would say conditional decomposition. We would of course name the line that we chose the rule from. I have two different dry erase boards and the markers aren't compatible so that's why we're switching back and forth. Negated 
conditional decomposition, the negated conditional decomposition. Uh, if it is not the case that if P then Q, and we get from that P and not Q. And then over here we would say, of course, negated conditional decomposition. And name the lines that it came from. So if it is not the case that if P occurs, Q follows, then it is the case that P occurs and Q does not follow. So let's go back to this other board. And next we're doing the biconditional decomposition rules and, compos and negated decomposition rules. Biconditional decomposition. Biconditional decomposition rule. P if and only if Q. And we can get from that either P and Q or not P and not Q. And here's the form we do it in since we're doing we're trying to, truth tree is, the point is to get down to atomic sentences. We would